Okay, so hello and assalamualaikum everyone. Alright, so as you have requested, uh, so here is the video solution on how to do tutorial questions number 9A. Okay, so untuk soalan 9A, soalan dia cakap dekat sini, uh, evaluate the following integrals. So this one, kalau ikutkan dalam soalan, this is uh, the parts where kita kena buat integration by parts lah. Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini. Right, so you need to first identify apa jenis function yang awak ada. Okay, so first we have x minus 2. So x minus 2 is the polynomial punya jenis. Okay, and then ln, ln adalah obviously a log function lah. So it's a LO. Right, so kalau ikutkan the acronym of LOPAD, so LO comes first baru P. Meaning that your U is going to be ln x. So U is equals to ln x. Like that. Okay, and then, so bila kita dah ambil yang ini sebagai u, okay, so kita akan ambil yang baki tu untuk integral dv. So, maksudnya awak anggaplah awak tutup this one, okay, sebab kita dah ambil this one, the blue one for u. So, apa yang tinggal untuk kita? So, these are the thing that is going to be your integral dv. So, kita akan ada integral dv sama dengan integral x minus 2. So, integral dv is equals to integral x minus 2 dx. Like that. Okay, settle. Okay, so daripada sini, apa yang kita nak cari? So, the for the blue one, kita nak differentiate. So, we have du dx is equals to 1 over x. Right? And then, you need to make sure that you have du as your subject. So, kita akan dapat du is equals to dx over x. Okay, settle. Alright, and then for the purple one, for integral dv, so kita akan integrate both sides. So, the left hand side is going to be v. And then for the right hand side, ini adalah jenis polynomial. Okay, so bila polynomial, maksudnya awak akan integrate dia guna cara yang biasa lah. So, cara yang biasa is x sekarang ni power dia satu. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. And then you divide with 2. Okay. And then integrate a constant. Tambah je x dekat belakang. So, dapat negative 2x macam ni. Okay. So, remember you don't have to put plus c dekat sini. Not yet. Jangan tambah plus c lagi. So, plus c kita akan tambah dekat hujung sekali. Okay. So, apa formula yang kita nak pakai? So, formula yang kita pakai adalah integral u dv. Okay. So, it's equals to uv. Minus integral V D U Okay, so ini adalah formula yang kita akan pakai Right, so awak akan salin dulu soalan Soalan asal adalah Integral In bracket X minus 2 And then kita ada Apa tadi dekat dalam yang hijau eh, Sorry, yang biru tu, it's ln X DX Okay, salin dulu soalan Right, and then yang belah kanan ni barulah kita gunakan Formula, so kita nak U And then kita nak V so, u is ln x. Okay. And then, v apa? V yang panjang-panjang tu. So, kita ada x square over 2. I have x square over 2. And then, minus 2x. Close bracket. Okay. And then, kita minuskan lagi dengan integral v du. V apa? V adalah benda yang sama. This one. So, let me just copy this one and paste it over here. Okay, so the purple one is V. Okay, and then you need to multiply it with DU. So, DU adalah DX over X. DX over X. Okay, so this one saya letak bracket untuk elakkan kita confuse. Okay, so untuk uh, by parts, yang sebelah kiri, this one, the first term ni, Kita biasanya tak boleh nak buat apa-apa dah dengan dia. So, one thing that we can do is you can rearrange it. Susun bagi kemas bagi nampak cantik. Ataupun anything yang kita boleh simplify kan, kita simplify kan. But in this case, I don't think we can simplify anything. Right? So, I just expand it. So, saya akan expand sahaja. This one darab sini. And then this one darab ke sana. Okay. So, what I have over here is x2 over 2 ln x. And then minus 2x ln x. Like that. Okay, settle. Alright, and then for the next one, kita akan 
Simplify kan So kalau awak tengok dekat sini Awak ada bahagikan dengan X over here Right So you can cancel out this one Jadi kuasa satu saja, And then this one boleh hilang terus Okay so apa yang kita ada untuk sebelah kanan ni Adalah integral Okay dekat depan tadi minus And then it's integral X over 2 Minus with 2 And then ada dx Okay so I put a bracket Untuk kita tak careless Okay so sekarang barulah kita Settlekan integrate yang hujung sekali tu Sebab tak settle lagi So copy je yang ini Copy paste it over here Right And then so yang belah kanan tu Kita integrate saja macam biasa So saya ada x so, I have x over 2. So, 1 over 2, this is just a constant. So, I just want to integrate yang ini sahaja. So, integrate x, saya akan dapat x kuasa 2 per 2. Okay. So, this is uh, the the product of integration of x. Okay. And then, saya ada asal-asal tadi. I originally have 1 over 2 in front. So, I put a bracket outside. Okay. And then, saya tolakkan dengan 2 x. Okay, sebab kita integrate a constant, so you just need to multiply a constant with x for integration. Okay, so this part, I want you to be very careful. So, dekat sini tadi, saya letak bracket. I put a bracket over here. Okay, sebab apa? Sebab dekat depan ni ada negative. So, kita letak juga satu bracket yang besar dekat sini. Okay, and then barulah buat plus C. Alright, sebab kalau awak tak letak bracket yang ni, if you don't put this bracket yang di, yang di sini, dia akan jadi negative. In which kalau kita expand, sepatutnya dia jadi positive. Alright, so let's simplify everything. So this one, saya copy lagi sekali. Paste it here. Right, and then saya ada minus. Okay, so I have minus 1 over 2. Times with 1 over 2. This is 1 over 2. So, I am going to have 1 over 4. So, it's negative 1 over 4. X squared. Okay. And then, next one, apa yang kita ada. So, I have negative and negative. So, negative and negative is going to be positive. So, saya ada positive dekat sini. Okay. And then, kita ada 2x. So, plus with 2x. And then, lastly, kita ada plus with c. Okay, so itu sahaja untuk soalan nombor 9A. Bye-bye.